My name's Alan Hart, and in today's video, we're going to install an electric boiler. This is the e-boiler from Strom. We're going to install it on the wall. We're going to connect the pipe work to it. We're going to connect the electrics to it, and I'm going to do a full review. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below, and let's get to it. The boiler we've got today is the e-boiler from Strom, and this is a system boiler. This is a seven kilowatt system boiler. They also do a combi boiler version as well, so you'd have to choose which one suits your needs better. We are gonna install this boiler. We're gonna connect it onto a cylinder, so we'll pipe it all up. You'll see all that as we're installing it. It measures 630 millimeters high, 350 millimeters wide, and it's 210 mil deep. If we have a look at it, it's a very small boiler, compact, so really good for cupboards and things like that, and anywhere where you wanna put it just out of the way. If we have a look up front, we can just see there, it's got some just touch buttons, which look really cool. Also, we've got pressure gauge on the front. And if we have a look, quick look inside, we can have a look there. We've got the pump, so nice and easy to work on in future, if you need to get to it. Also, we've got the PRV just there at the front as well. So again, if you have problems with that in future, you better replace that quick and easy. Um, I think I babbled on enough. Let's get on with this video. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to install the boiler onto the wall. With the Strom electric boiler, it comes with a nice little template. These two options on here. So it comes with system boiler or combination boiler. So all I'm going to do, is just going to put it up on the wall here. I'm going to level this up, make sure this is level. And then now I'm just going to put some tape across the top and some tape across the bottom. And now I'm just going to drill the holes. and then I'm going to connect the boiler onto the wall. Now we'll get the electrician to wire it up. The electrician's just finishing off wiring now. And now we can take a look at the boiler. So this is the Strom electric boiler. This is the e-boiler. This is a seven kilowatt system boiler. They also do the combi boiler version of this. If we have a quick look at this, if we have a look underneath, we can see we've got the flow, we've got the blow off pipe, we've got the cold, and we've also got the return. We've also got a filling loop just at the front here. And now we'll have a look inside the boiler. So if we, pull, if we look at the front of this, we can see we've got on here, we've actually got the digital display on here. We've got the pressure gauge. And we'll have a look at that. Once we've powered it all up, we'll have a look at that in more detail. If we have a look there, we can pull this flap down on here. We've got two screws on here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the two screws out and we can have a look inside the boiler. I'm just gonna drop some screws on the floor. So just gonna remove the case. And again, when we've removed that case, we can see we've got another cover inside there as well. So we'll just remove that one as well. And now just remove that cover. We can take a look inside. If we have a look on front here, we've got the pressure switch. And then on the right hand side, we've got this little pipe here. And this goes up to the pressure gauge on the front of the boiler. We've also got the pump, and that's a variable speed pump. It's got some different settings on there, and we'll have a look at that in a bit more detail later on. I'll need to read the instructions for that. We've also, if you have a look here, we've got a temperature sensor. These are clip-on temperature sensors as well. There's also a temperature sensor on this side. Again, the clip-on, so they're, so they're dry. You don't have to drip boiler down to change them. We've also got a flow switch in this. So that looks like it's gonna be a paddle one. And if we have a look there, we've got all the electrical components in there. At the back there, we've got an expansion vessel. And so that's a five litre expansion vessel. So if it were gonna go on a bigger system, then you might, you might need to put a bigger expansion vessel in. At the back there, we've got a copper pipe that comes off the expansion vessel. And we've also got the PRV up there. All quite easy 
to work on. So that's just a look inside the boiler. What I'll do now is I'll put this back together and we'll pipe it up. Boiler's all installed now, it's piped in and wired up and it's also working. So this is working at the moment, as we can hear, I'll go close to that. It's very quiet. No flues on these as well, which is really good. So this could be good for like apartments and places like that. Also places where there's no gas. These different products, so this is the system boiler, as we've said already, so this is a seven kilowatt system boiler. They also do different options. So they do cylinders that's got uh, one of these electric boilers built in and all sorts of different, you'll have to have a look on Strom website for that. Uh, but what do we think to it? Installing it has been super easy. There's just three connections up top. The hardest bit about it is actually getting an electrician to come um, and do the, do the work. Although the electrician's been amazing. I phoned him up in the morning and he came within a few hours. Electric boilers, what do you think? Would you have one in your home? Have you installed one? Put a comment below and let me know. That wraps up this video for today. Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.